What's up everybody? It's Bill Stebbins from BillStebbins.com and TheSimulcast.com and I am back. I am on a Nexus tear tonight. I have my Nexus 4. I'm going to show you how to root it. Okay, so if you have a shiny new Nexus 4 like me, go ahead and turn that thing on. I've already gone through the setup. Um, what we want to do here is we're going to go into the settings panel. So you can either get to the settings panel by swiping down and then tapping over here. Or, there's a handy little tip, use two fingers, swipe down like that. Go into your settings panel. We need to enable developer options. So we're going to go into settings and then about phone. We're going to go down here. You can see mine is running Android version 4.2.1, which I don't think it's focusing very well, but okay. Um, so you need to go in here. This is changed in Android 4.2. You need to tap on the build number. All right, we're two steps away from being a developer. And there we go. Now we have developer options. So we're going to go back one. Now you can see I have developer options. Oh, I should look at my screen when I'm tapping it. Okay, so now I have USB debugging and I can, yes, I can enable that. That means that my computer can now control my phone. It's like space age stuff. It's awesome. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable right there in the handy dandy bottom. All right, now you can see in here, USB debugging is connected. That's what I want. Okay, so we're going to sit my phone off to the side for a minute. Let me see if I can hold it here where you can see. I'll scoot my Android guy out of the way. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open a terminal. I'm working on a Mac. Uh, the process will be similar on Windows, but um, I use my Mac for this because it's really easy. Okay, so now we're going to do, um, I'm using ADB. If you've done any Android stuff at all, you will know what that is. If you have not, you probably want to get used to, to the terminology and how to use it. So here we go. Now I'm going to say ADB reboot bootloader. This command is going to tell my phone, this one right here, to reboot into the bootloader. All right, it's magic. Ah, look, okay. All right, so now you can see, I think you can see, uh, this is, I think it's Mako is what they call it. Uh, lock state locked. First, we've got to unlock the bootloader on this thing. Okay, the way we're gonna do that is we're going to use the fast boot command. So, in terminal, no, not asked, fast boot, OEM unlock. Oh, I can't type tonight. Sorry, I'm typing one handed. Normally I don't have to type when I'm one handed. Oh, all right. Fast boot OEM unlock. Okay. Now it's going to give me this scary text. Basically, it's saying it's going to wipe my device. If I install custom operating system software, then I could potentially blow up my device. All right. The way you select yes is with the volume key over here and then you're going to actually confirm that with the power button all right so it is unlocked okay um, so I think we need to actually go to start now all right see the padlock down there it's very faint but padlock all right so now you need to do that because that actually will go through it wipes the device when you do that um, that way somebody can't root your device and steal all your information that's secured on there. Because once it's rooted, um, if somebody gets a hold of it, then they can pretty much do what they want with it. All right, so now we're going through the boot sequence again. Okay. So here it is. Um, I'm just going to skip through this real quick because I don't want to turn anything on. I don't want to do anything. I don't need to sign in. Um, I'm going to just say not now and then next and then next and then done. I don't want to do any of this stuff. All right. I just want to get to where I can enable my developer options again. 
All right. So you remember how we do that? Go into settings, about phone, go to your build number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have developer options, bam. Turn on USB debugging. Should see a notification up there that we have USB debugging enabled. All right. So normally you've got to unplug and then replug your device back in for your computer to recognize it, or at least I do. All right. So I'm going to zoom back in here now on my terminal commands. We're going to do ADB devices. It still sees my device. That's good. All right. We're going to do ADB reboot boot loader. And once again, this thing is going to majestically reboot on its own under the control of my computer, which is freaking awesome. I love this. All right. Now we are unlocked. We are at the bootloader. Okay, so now we have our phone in fast boot, which is bootloader. Now we're going to flash the recovery. So we're going to do fast boot, flash recovery, and then we're going to find the recovery file. In this case, uh, the recovery file is here for my Nexus 4. So we are going to take this and we are going to drag it over to the terminal window. So trust me on this. All right, so now it has filled in the information about on Mac, it fills in, and I think it does on Windows 7 and 8 now, the path, so I don't have to worry about the path. All right, so now we're gonna hit enter. It's sending the recovery, writing okay. Boom, so the recovery has been flashed. Now I'm going to fast boot, boot, and then we're gonna to, to boot this image. So that means we're gonna go into recovery. All right, so now my phone is actually doing something. It's rebooting into the recovery. And as you can see, that is clockwork mod 6.0.1.9. Okay, so we're gonna do something fancy here. Um, there's a new option, ADB sideload. That will let us install that zip file for the super user from our computer. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and select that, and then that will boot us into a sideload mode, and then we can type the command in on our computer. ADB side load. So ADB side load. That'll save us from having to push the information. All right, so on Clockwork, I have selected um, install zip from side load. That's a new feature. So I'm going to do ADB side load. And then I'm going to drag my Clockwork mod file over and I'm going to hit enter. And there it is. Super user has been installed. That is much easier than trying to push it over and all that crap. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have uh, successfully rooted our phone. Now all I'm going to do is go in here and select Reboot System Now. And it'll ask you if you want to disable Recovery Flash. You want to say yes to this. If you say yes to this, then it won't overwrite your recovery the next time that it boots. All right, and that should be it. We will have super user permissions. We are still bootloader unlocked and we are ready to go. You can load a custom ROM from here or whatever. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments. I try and respond to every single comment. Um, and if for some reason um, I don't respond to you, it's probably already answered in the comments. So um, anyway, that's been my video on rooting. If you need to find any of those files, they're all at XDA Developers in the Nexus 4 General section. I'm not going to post links to those because they'll change. Um, so anyway, hopefully it's helpful for you, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.